Hello everybody, welcome back to another Lua scripting video and today we're going to talk about the context action service which is a service that used to bind inputs to Lua functions and uh, key binds. Um, both are very closely related in a way and I'll show you how but let's talk about the context action service. So it is a service used to bind inputs to Lua functions. So you know when you make a custom chat and you always wanted that press slash and you can start typing like it automatically focuses onto the text box yeah that's what typically um when you make a custom chat that's what an imp using the context action service so let's say i make a text box over here all right so let's just do that all right okay so let's just insert a local script so i want it to when i press slash instead of clicking it to start typing the second i press slash I start typing so let's just do all right <clears throat> let's just do that uh, okay so let's do a local context action <clears throat> service equal game <clears throat> that get service context action service okay so there's that all right so what you need to do next is have like a I don't know I like to call this local focus equals now you're gonna add a string and I'll call it focus the text box there we go all right so those two we're just doing a viable at the moment and of course we have to get the text box so local box I guess script that parent all right so let's start local function handle action <clears throat> now after this um this entire function really is first we're gonna get the action name the input state the input object then then a whole if statement and then during that uh, at the end we're gonna do like the key by for the slash but after that i'm gonna do capture focus which is a property of text box um okay so handle action uh, then we're going to do like a slash and oh, what is that? Insert. Okay. <clears throat> so action. Oh, what is that? Uh, geez. Okay. Action. Name. Input. State. Input. Object. All right. That's done. If action name equals equals. Uh, what do they call it? Do they call it focus? Yeah, I call it focus. And input state equal equals to enum dot user. I use user input state for this one. <clears throat> dot begin. Then all right. So after this part, we're gonna do the box, the text box. We want to capture focus. So what that does when you capture focus, it focuses on the text box. So you can start typing. But we need to make sure we have a key bind for that. All right, so um, let's add a wait here because when you do the slash, it puts the slash for some reason on the text box automatically. So you're gonna do box um, box dot parent dot text. Oh, sorry, box dot text equals that because it puts a slash automatically for some reason. And those two ends right there. All right, so and last but not least, we're gonna do the context action service bind action there you go action nope box we got focus sorry focus handle action uh false enum that key code and we shall use oops, keep typing the wrong thing key code slash all right so let's play it, run that and i'll show you how it works All right, so oh, what's wrong? Line fourteen and uh, oh, the handle action. My bad. Uh, we don't need. We just need to put handle action. All right, so let's play that. Press slash. I can start typing. So that's a cool thing. You see how when I click slash, it puts slash automatically. Look, ready? Slash, slash. 
you can summon mouse over here. I don't have to go like this and start typing. All I have to do is come here, slash. So slash hi, slash hi. So it's a good thing uh, you should learn about using uh, chat. And of course, when you do a text box, when you make a chat, um, hold on. You have to make sure you disable, hold on, where is it? Clear text and focus. So what that does um, is when you, you know when you type something on the text box, then click it, click out and click again, it makes everything disappear. But with this, you can, hold on, just press slash, hi. And I can literally edit it. So you can edit any part you want, like that. Just, just to make it disappear, you can also highlight it too. All right, so that's, um, I guess, one thing down. All right, so the next thing we need to learn uh, besides the context action service, that's just one use of it, by the way. I'm, bind, I'm, I'm binding an input uh, to do a certain Lua function, which is capture. I'm doing that. All right, so next thing is key binds. Um, of course, key binds are very useful. It's usually used for making games like Magic and really anything, Reload, uh, Fire. You can use it typically anything, open up a shop uh, GUI. Um, yeah, all right, so let's start with local enabled equals true. So I'm just going to make uh, that because I wanted to, I want to make the uh, shop, I want to go open and close. All right, so <clears throat> does it want to do function? Oh, true. Function on key. Press. <clears throat> We're going to do our uh, input object, and probably, probably we should use the game process event because I'll, I'll explain it in a minute. Input object game process event. All right, so I'm going to do if game process event uh, equals equals. Oh, what's that? equals equals true uh, geez I can't type true then return and all right so this line the way I learned it is when you type something in chat and if your keybind was L and you type L in chat it would automatically fire that keybind so what this does I think it does because that's the way I learned it um if you do type L in chat and it's a keybind for L to open something else it won't do it unless you're out of chat so after this we should do if input object uh, dot key code key code equals enum dot key code dot tab then well, let's make it tab to make it disappear and you know reappear then if enabled equals true then script dot parent dot text box dot visible equals false enabled equals false else if enabled equals false then script that print at text box that visible equals true enabled equals true all right so that's done and now you're going to skip all the way to the end and you're going to do <clears throat> context on um, where is it context was it right what is it called what service was it a uh, user input service game that gets service user input service the input began connect on key press all right so you got that and okay so just open it so when I press tab it should make it it should make the box appear and disappear so pop 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 what Input object and nil. Oh, oh, there you go. Add too much slash here. My bad. All right. Ah, uh, yes. I'll like save it. There you go. Fix it. So I, I had to put too much parentheses over there. Now it should work. I was, I was wondering because it should work like that. But anyways, all right. So here we go. Tab tab tab. Oh, oh, I forgot to tap tab. That's the the player list. All right. Um. This is something else. Unless I disable the player list. Uh. Let's just do. K. I guess. K works. <clears throat> let's play that. And press K. 
Oh, game, time, game. Oh, sorry. There we go. K, 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 K. There we go. K, K. There we go. Like that. So that's the context action service and of course the keybind. I don't, cause I don't, <laughs> I barely memorize this entire code cause I usually just um, use the exact same thing in all my games. The same, uh, the same, you know, nice of code, just changing what it does and what, it, you know, what, it, just what it does. But I guess that's how it works. Um, you can use this for anything really, turning on a shop gun reload you can just do any function inside this and make sure you change that and then the contact context action service I mean make a chat custom chat press slash um you make it you know focus on a text box so you can start typing and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video let's comment I'll see you guys all next time peace out